Hey fellas, I'd kind of like to try and clear this up once and for all. So here's the deal on 3 to 1 and 4 to 1. These are two different gearboxes. They're both right motor gearboxes. They're both high motor configuration. This is a 4 to 1 or 4 shaft gearbox and this is a 3 to 1 or 3 shaft gearbox. Now this is not the right pinion on here and it's too far out on the axle but don't let that confuse you. If you look at the side of the boxes is the easiest way to identify which is which. These are the bushings that the gear shafts ride on, the production gear shafts. On this box, there's one, two, three bushings. On this box, there's one, two, three, four bushings. That's because this box has this reduction gear right here, this little shaft at the back. That's the fourth shaft. If you take this set of gears and put a fourth shaft on there, you'll have a four shaft gearbox. These are three. So if you look at it from the top, you can see that in between the axle the gear on the axle and the gear on the pinion, there are one, two, three gear shafts. On this box, in between the pinion and the axle, there are one, two, three, four gear shafts. That's the only difference, okay? This has got an extra reduction gear, so it's going to have a lower top speed. This has got less reduction gear, so it's going to have a higher top speed. Three shaft, four shaft. Calling it three to one and four to one is extremely inaccurate. Your final drive ratio would be uh, figured by how many times does this pinion have to turn to make this axle turn one revolution. If it has to turn 100, then it's 100 to one or one to 100. I always get that mixed up, okay? So my numbers might be backwards, but you know what I'm talking about. Turn 100 times, turn one time. 100 to 1 ratio. It's pretty simple, really. The suppliers started calling these 4 to 1 gearboxes, and that's so inaccurate, it's not even funny. There's no way that every time this uh, pinion turns four times, that axle turns one time. It just don't happen. These are like 12,000 RPM motors. Okay, so I hope that clears it up. The easiest way to do it is just count the bearings or bushings that hold the gear shafts. One, two, three, three shaft box. One, two, three, four, four shaft box. Okay, guys, hope that clears it up. Hope that helps some of my fellow rookies because I know it confused the heck out of me when I first got in a hobby. Nancy, get your tail out of my video. <laughs> See you next time.